You guys ever get a song stuck in your head? And you don't get the whole song, you just get like this one annoying little loop. No idea. Yesterday it was Lone Star. Today I got a hymn, a church hymn, stuck in my head. Yeah. Just wondering if I'm the only person that gets random songs stuck in my head. So much poison oak every one of these sticks all this stick that's just poison oak that hasn't bloomed out yet crappy anyhow so brad's coming up here i'm gonna try to get up to some of these upper bluffs here real quick see if i can at least find a decent trail to walk on and look for something it'll be a couple hours before he's here and I'll head back down and then park down at the other spot where me and him were supposed to go. And then we'll do that hunt, but hopefully I can find some before he gets here. I'm at these meadows. I just I actually looked as farther up here than I thought. I just pulled about 900 feet elevation to get up here. So... I think I'm gonna sit on a rock and get a drink of water. I can't believe there's not horns laying right here. This looks so good. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> yeah, those meadows look so good. Going down, there's just beds all over and couldn't tell you what's going on. I don't know. It looks as good as anything I could think to look in and deer tracks and beds and no horns. Well, I'm back down in the oak flat stuff. So it's easier walking. Still nothing. About two hours and pretty sure this spot sucks. I got back to the Jeep from that first spot. Found nothing. It looked so good. I couldn't find anything. So I ended up with Brad and his wife Penny. I forgot to introduce you guys. I'll have to do that later. But dang it. Get out of here, ticks. Sorry about that. I had some ticks on me. So I have to introduce you to Brad and Penny later. Hopefully we'll all have a big pile of horns to show off. So I guess he's found a bunch in this area in the past. So, hopefully we can find some more. Makes me wonder how many I've stepped there the last couple of years. On the board. Let's go see what Brad and Penny have. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Brad, how many you got? Brad's just looking up for squats. That's freshy. Nice. That's cool. That was going to be a good buck if he was not like dead, older than all of us combined. <laughs> Killing it. Well, this bench seems like it's the best little spot. There's like six beds right here that are like being lived in. Who put those blackberry bushes there? I don't, I don't like those. <laughs> What'd you get? monster <laughs> you're just whooping us today dude does he have a drop tine oh man <laughs> look at that thing he's a drop time <laughs> drop time in the making <laughs> drop time well shoot i don't know what to do i think i'm throwing in the towel go home <laughs> brad and penny took off Oh, we stood outside and 
talked in the rain for a while until I got soaking wet and cold. And they had to go, so about an hour left of daylight, and I'm just going to wander down here and eat some animal cookies and see if I can find some horns and salvage something out of this day. Penny ended up with three. I have one. My uh, phone that I usually use, apparently the uh, card's full, so now I'm forced to actually use this camera for the rest of the trip. I didn't try another spot. I am forced to use this camera. It is a good camera. I just gotta figure out this autofocus, see what's making it zig and bit zag. So, I'm gonna eat my mountain house here. Go to bed. Cody's coming in the morning and we're gonna go find some more horns, so. End of the day with one, Penny had three.